is for you guys when you're watching this. <sighs> yes, I'm basic and I'm drinking Starbucks. I always feel so basic, but so I'm home with one kid today. I feel like someone is always sick in my house. Um, so Kyle and Audrey at school, but Maddie's here with me because he's homesick today. So oh, it's that time of year where everyone is sick and I have the longest to-do list, but all I want to do is lay in my bed. <laughs> Guys, I have been suffering from like, I don't know what my deal is. I, I post about this on Instagram, but I've just had the hardest time with motivation lately. So if you have any suggestions on how to get myself motivated and how to bring back my creativity, I think I'm just burned out. <laughs> Not to complain, but I think I'm just a little burned out. So I'm trying to figure out how to remedy that. But yeah, anyway, it's a great day. Tons to be grateful for. Um, so I'm gonna make the most of it. But, you know, I like to keep things real around here. <gasps> Big Mel! Where's Maddox? Maddox? sick boy. Ah, there you are. It's my turn. I don't really want to hide. Hi. Oh, your nose is disgusting. Let's wipe it. Are you feeling okay? It's my turn. Yeah. Are you sick today? It's my turn. Okay, I'm going to hide. Ready? Okay. There's mommy. There's mommy. The blank, okay. Okay. Oh, where's Maddie? Where's Maddie? Where did he go? <laughs> so, today actually turned out to be a great day. I got out of my funk, I got dressed, put some makeup on, and it actually turned out to be a really good day. Um, so yeah. Now we're gonna go rake some leaves. The kids have been dying to jump in the leaves, so I'm gonna go rake a big pile for them to jump in and uh, try to survive the rest of the day. It's amazing how just an attitude adjustment can do so much. So, anyway, it's been the most beautiful fall day outside. I don't think I ever show you guys the back yard. This is like my back porch area that looks kind of a mess now because it's winter, almost winter, but yeah, I never take you guys in the backyard. I'm so loud. Our friend is here again. Okay, so Paul okay, is Mom, officially I'm teaching me how to, to floss. Well, you know how. I don't know how. Paul is a dancer. Okay, so you're teaching me. So, all, I mean, all it is is you're pushing your hip through while your arms go, well, the arms are just going side, out, in front. See the floss. So we go. We're going to go in, I need to take out, that. across, and. I, I need practice. Boom. I'm going to watch your camera. Yeah, you I'm going to right here. Mom, let me help you. Got it. Watch. Out, across, in, out, across. So your hips are just, they're just, your hips are going back and forth the entire time. You just kind of push your arms in. That's not, okay, so, I was trying to follow Here we go. Okay. Here you go. So through, so we're going to go through first. Let's go. So through, and then out. And then across. And then through. I can't do it. And then out. And then across. I can't do it. You got it. You got, get the arms first. Arms first. So just, your arms are going to go in, out, across. In, out, across. In, out, across. And then your hips are just going back and forth the entire time. Out, across. I can't do it at the same time. I'm live, I don't know how to dance. Uh, you got it, you got it. Happy whatever day it is. Uh, I don't know why I always say that and I never know what day it is. Just brought, dropped the boys off at school. Today is grandparents' day at their school. Well, it's grandparents' day in general, so I'm gonna pop over and grab some gifts for grandparents. And then I'm actually in charge of taking pictures at the little program today, so I'll pop back over here. But yeah, huge shout out to um, the kids' grandparents. They helped me so much. Like, I could not do life without, yeah. I'm just really thankful for them. <laughs> Um, I've gotten asked a lot of questions about like co-parenting and like how do you work co how do you do that as a single mom and like how do you co-parent? I'm gonna be honest to say, and this is not to, to throw anyone under the bus, but there really isn't any co-parenting in our um, situation because um, Austin doesn't live here, and so it's really not possible to co-parent. I mean, maybe it could be, but um, the way it's worked out they just it, it's not really co-parenting I parent and um, he comes a visit about once a month and um, yeah so 
I feel like that's like something I don't know I'm pretty private and I don't like to talk about all the details of everything but I guess I will say that's been really hard this year like completely not having any help at all and I think that's kind of why sometimes the blogs have been late and things have been just different because um, there's a huge difference between um, a co-parenting relationship. I think that it's a positive thing. I think that, uh, you know, just because your marriage didn't work out doesn't mean that you can't parent together. Um, but when someone's not really interested in that and they're not really physically here, it makes it really hard to co-parent um, well. So anyway, just clearing that up because I get asked that a lot and I don't like to avoid the question because it's not really a bad question. It's actually a really good question. And um, I wish I could be more helpful with that because I think it's a, it's a positive thing. And I know I have friends that co-parent really well. Actually, one of my really close friends, him and his ex, they do a great job. You know, they both live in town. They both have their lives, but they co-parent really well. And I think it's an awesome thing. And it's kind of something I wish that we could do, but it's just not really an option for us right now, I guess. Um, so yeah, all that to say, my support system is huge for me. I mean, doing all this alone, there are days where I'm just like, physically, it's very hard. It's hard to raise three kids six and under by yourself um, while also trying to work and do other things so super blessed to have help in my life and I'm so thankful for the kids grandparents who help a lot um, my mom as well for all you single parents out there get your support support system because you definitely need it um, it parenting was not meant to do alone it's actually impossible to do alone <laughs> so definitely find your tribe find your village that's my spiel today. <laughs> I feel like I'm always at the store, always buying things all the time. <laughs> We're always out of food. I feel like every day I come here. Has anyone else strapped their purse in <laughs> into the cart? Strap your purse in the cart, that way if someone tries to take it, then they're caught red-handed. There's like, ah. I always strap my purse in the cart. If I put it in the cart, that way no one can steal it. <sighs> Tips. Now to find some good cards. I haven't vlogged in a store for a while and I don't know why I'm kind of embarrassed. Like I'm afraid someone's gonna see me. I never get embarrassed, but now I'm like nervous about it because it's so empty here. Okay, I don't know why I thought they would have like a grandparents day card. I guess that's not like an official holiday, but they have a lost tooth card. So if you have a lost tooth card, then why wouldn't you have a grandparents day card, you know? I think that should be a thing unless I'm not in the right section. <laughs> I can't believe they have a lost tooth card. That's hilarious. I've never even seen that before. But yeah, I'm trying to find like a grandparents day thing. What is that? That's that's so creepy. What is that? How many people have had this on their head? I hope I don't get lice. <laughs> I don't want to get lice. That was not a good idea. <laughs> Oh gosh, let's just leave that where we found it. I'm hosting a little giveaway on my Instagram. Um, so if you aren't following me there, you should be because that's where I'm gonna be doing a little giveaway. But I figure since I'm no longer allowed to buy myself mugs, I can buy them for you guys as a part of my giveaway. So I'm looking for a really cute mug. I wanna do like a cute little mug gift idea. So yeah, I don't wanna give it all away, but I think I'm gonna start doing, mm, not weekly giveaways, but maybe once, once or twice a month. Um, just to show my appreciation to all of you and yeah, I think it'd be fun. So follow me on Instagram So you can be part of um, the giveaway Now to find a cute mug. Oh my gosh. Look at all these mugs. Ah, I love it <laughs> Look at the dinosaur mug. That's great No, let's do these ones Okay Oh, oh you can do the next ones, okay? Over here, come on, Maddie. Put it in, buddy. Put it in the cart for us. Not yet. We'll eat them when we get home, buddy. You want some chocolate donuts? Uh huh. These are the kind she gets. Uh huh. So tired the morning she gives me. Oh really? <laughs> okay. No, 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 Yay! buddy. We have to pay for the Walmart. Even though I was just here, I picked the boys up an hour back because it's snowing and I didn't actually get groceries when I was here because I thought I would order them online and get them tomorrow. But now I'm just gonna get them here. So now we're back at Walmart again. <laughs> Things. Hey, 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 we're already getting donuts. We don't need Lucky Charms, too. 
You want Lucky Charms? This is why my basket is so unhealthy. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. You want to hold that part in us? Watch out. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> what do we need, Maddie Bear? More yogurt? Yeah, more yogurt. More yogurt. Okay. Oh, I like it. I like it. Oh, Cheetos. You're trying to get all the unhealthy things, dude. We are not getting Cheetos. This child. This kid is trying to make me buy every unhealthy yeah. thing in the store. Yeah. Hey, mister. You already eaten the cereal? No. Yes. Let me just say, you guys, the struggle is real. I am trying to make it a point to get a babysitter at least once or twice a week and actually go out with girlfriends and do stuff, even though I'm tired at the end of the day. So I'm actually getting out with my friend Bria tonight. We're gonna grab dinner and talk and chat. And so I'm trying to like amp myself up. I'm dressed. This is what I'm wearing because it's cold outside. But all I want to do is lay in bed. But I know that once I leave, I will feel good. So, yeah. All you single parents out here, there's another tip for you. Get a babysitter and actually get out of the house. Even if you don't feel like it. Because it'll be so, so worth it in the end. Um, that's what I tell myself. Because I can become a bit of a recluse. You know, because after a long day, I'm just tired. I'm like, I'm tired. I don't want to do nothing else. But, um, yeah, go get a nice glass of wine, talk to an adult, <sighs> adult interaction. So, anyway, this is as good as it's been again. Snowing, it's still so magical out here. It's annoying, but it's still pretty. It's like big flakes. It's not sticking at all, but it looks so pretty and magical. <laughs> Okay, I so I am filming something really fun right now. Shout out to my brother and to Paul for coming to my house at nine in the morning on a Saturday. You guys, this is so fun. This is gonna make me want to film more things. Yes. More projects. Yes, I gotta do more of this. <laughs> but yeah, you'll see soon what it is. But I'm really excited. We get down to the beat, y'all. We get down. As you guys, it's gonna be so fun. I can't wait for you to see it. Follow me on Instagram. That's what it's gonna be.